Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, call hello, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Rekar, Of course, double honor, scribe to the apostles, bishops, and elders, great millstone, who deserve double honors. Salutations also go out to the fellow Aki, out there on the highways and byways, pushing his truth, all honesty and sincerity, trying to wake up the remaining, hopefully, elect. This is Nama of the D.C. camp. And just to go over this, I uh, just found this article. <laughs> and I want you to pay particular attention to the words, the wording, all right? Anyway, this comes from USA Today originally. It says, fact check, false claim, harp, all right, is responsible for the earthquake in Turkey. For those of you that don't know, harp is, uh, uh, let me get the official, it's the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, all right? It says it studies the ionosphere and cannot create or amplify natural disasters. Really? All right. <laughs> All right. We'll get to that. But first, as you know, the big earthquake in Turkey the last well over a week now. And they're still, you know, as of yesterday, pulled out somebody alive. Uh, <clears throat> oh, was it day before? This is Friday the 16th. So, you know, forgive me. Uh, excuse me, the 17th. Yep. So like it. So, uh, I know I saw, it couldn't have been more than two days they found somebody that was alive. I don't know if they died, but anyway, so, at last count, it was over 42,000, all right? And here's the strange thing. Countries pulled their diplomats out 24 hours before now. I know you've also seen, for those of you that are paying attention, you heard of the strange instances of animals and how they react. Well, this is the case whenever a, a natural, especially when you have a natural uh, disaster such as a weather event or some, in this case, earthquakes or anything like that because their senses are more acute than ours, so they tend to pick up. That's why it's, it will behoove all right, you to have a pet, to have a dog, something like that, you know? I remember studying the Galveston uh, hurricane 1900 I believe it was and uh, this was back in the late 90s there was a woman here I'm in DC of course uh, she uh, local I can't remember uh, she was in was she in Maryland I think she was somewhere down in Maryland maybe I can't remember it's been like 1997 something like that but she was 107 years old uh, this might have even been before but uh, she remembered that hurricane down there. And the thing was, uh, <laughs> show how stupid people are, uh, just out of ignorance. They see the thing offshore, and they go further in toward the coast so they can, you know, and this is Edomites in general. They love, you know, uh, tempting the most high, I'll put it that way. All right, and I remember uh, reading about how they had observed animals going the opposite direction, which they should have done, but no, you know, this is the mighty white man. So they go, well, what is this? You know, oh, no, no. And you kind of find out when that thing hit, it was like, almost like the effect that an atomic bomb has, you know, you got trees laid out like toothpicks. And of course, they were no longer with us. But, <laughs> you know, but the woman at the time, she was sound of mind, but she had lost her sight and had her, was it, great granddaughter doing her hair. And uh, she said that's the last she remembered because her father, that was the last time she saw him, um, had managed to get her, grabbed her by the neck and threw her down in the cellar. They had like a, I don't know if it was designated as a storm shelter, but, you know, and the tornado ended up taking him right after that, you know. That was her last member. She was seven years old then, so, uh, yeah. So, in any case, but here you have, and let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, list of countries that pulled their ambassadors out of Turkey 24 hours before the earthquake. That's what leads me to believe, and when I read this, I'm sure you will too, that there was something else going on here. All right, so, uh, whoops. Uh, 
Anyway, continuing on, it says, What really happened in Turkey? Reads part of the post caption. A harp generated earthquake? It was shared more than 500 times in less than a week. It says, uh, Our rating? <laughs> False. Really? The earthquakes, now this is where I lead, need to lead, uh, for you to follow the wording here. The earthquakes occurred naturally in a well-known fault zone. Give them that. Been there in that region. I've been there many years ago. All right. It says the high frequency, no heart, active auroral research program of heart studies the ionosphere and cannot create or amplify natural disasters. Turkey earthquakes occurred naturally. It says more than 36,000 people. That was by their count. And it's gone up, like I said, uh, 42,000 now. And it's probably going to go higher than that. More than 36,000 people are dead after earthquakes struck Turkey and Syria, all right, on February 6th, all right, and this is the 17th, so a little less than two weeks here, all right. Uh, it says experts say the disaster was natural and not the result of any human system. It says nobody, and I quote, nobody has the ability to intentionally create a large earthquake with any degree of certainty. But you can create, right? <laughs> it says a seismologist whose name is uh, Rachel Abercrombie, uh, seismologist at Boston University, various human activities such as building large water reservoirs and fracking and wastewater injection related to hydrocarbon extraction and geothermal energy projects can induce earthquakes, but never as large as this. Mm. It says induce, induced earthquakes do not reach magnitudes above the mid-5 range. But you can do that, right? You have the ability to do this. In, listen to what she said. Induced earthquakes do not reach magnitudes above the mid-5 range. Huh. All right, she's an uh, engineering, uh, her name is, um, I'm sorry, his name is Jonathan Stewart, an environmental engineering professor at the University of California in Los Angeles. The earthquakes in Turkey and Syria were much larger at magnitude 7.8 and 7.5, because that first aftershock after the 7.8 was a 7.5, all right? It says the countries lie near the intersection of several tectonic plates, according to a map by the American Museum of Natural History. The earthquakes this week were not induced Again, <laughs> but natural earthquakes associated with a known major fault zone. All right, a seismology. Okay, blah 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 blah. Auroral research program cannot influence natural disasters. Really, the high. I just gonna say harp uses high frequency radio waves to study the ionosphere or the region between the lower atmosphere and outer space. Neither the, ionos neither the ionosphere nor radio waves can induce earthquakes, naturally or artificially, all right? It says the recent earthquake and tragic loss of life in Turkey highlight the destruction that natural disasters can cause. It says the research equipment at the heart site cannot create or amplify natural disasters, all right? Uh, it says, USA Today has debunked a variety of false claims about the earthquakes in Turkey and Syria, including an incorrectly attributed image of a collapsed building and an erroneous claim that a video shows a tsunami during the earthquake. All right. USA Today reached out to social media users who shared the post for comment. All right. And it gives you a list of uh, other fact check sources. Uh... Uh, yeah, all right, blah, 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 but it's mighty strange, and I'm not trying to, but we know, and we go to the scriptures here, we know how this devil operates, and we go to Second Corinthians, second chapter, and we go down here, and it says, well, well, well hold on, oh, let's see, uh, Could have sworn. Hold on. Here it is. I don't know what that was. Anyway, it says, uh, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And when you go into that devices, which we will here. All right. You 
get the word Naima. All right, as soon as it loads, for some reason it's not. Uh, let's go to the other one here. I don't know what's wrong with the blue letter. All right, let's see. I apologize for that. Oh, let's see. Second Corinthians 2. Let Satan should get an advantage of us when we go down here. Uh, get my mug out of the way. And it's devices. That's G3540. All right. Naima. All right. A perception that is purpose. All right. The intellect, disposition. His thought process. What is this man doing? It's all about death. It's all about destruction. Chaos. All right. And he has a God plot complex. All right. We know we're in the phase now where he's being revealed according to Second Thessalonians second chapter, all right? And he can't help it. All right. This is the most high pulling him down. All right. All these lies and things that he's told, you know, this is why when you go into a revelation, twentieth chapter, all right, it tells you about who was let loosed for a little season, all right, to deceive the nations. That was his purpose and that's what he has done. All right, these are the these are the nation of Edom, the descendants of Jacob's brother Esau. All right, they are not Israelites; they are Hebrew Edomites. All right, we are Hebrew Israelites. All right, he is Shemitic. Yes, the so-called white man is a Shemite. There are a total of eight in that family. All right, so when everybody says anti-Semite, which in itself is not a real word, you notice I said Shem, not Sem, all right? So that's what these devils do. They play these little word games with you, all right? There's no such thing as a Semite. So first of all, you need to, when you hear that, you need to, what are you talking about? That was not his name. So what are you talking about? If you're talking about Shemites, yeah, there's eight families, and you'll list off what? You'll say, who came out a lot? That was Moab and Ammon the so-called Chinese and Japanese, respectively, all right? And then you go to the Ishmaelites, the so-called Arabs of today. Were they offended? And then you go on down the list. You know, you got the Elam was one of the first, was the first one to come out of Shem. Those are your East Indians, all right? Your Pakistanis, all right? Some of your, uh, uh, the, um, uh, the stand countries, as I call them. You know, you got your Afghanistan, you got uh, Uzbekistan, and some of those. Those are uh, Elamites. They're not Ishmael, per se. Okay? So, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. So, we know how this devil operates. All right? Ezekiel 28 chapter, you could also use. You know? Uh, believe you me, he has some weaponry. And... In that respect, all right, he's not going to reveal everything he has to you, which someone with some sense. <laughs> and this is not a stupid individual that we're dealing with here. Evil, wicked, yeah, he's all those, all right. But this motherfucker knows what he's doing, all right. He is the scoundrel of the earth. Look that word up, all right. Hey, so I didn't want to take too long on this subject. I mean, it's... You know, if you believe this so-called white man, as we know, is benevolent and it has everybody's best interests at heart, well, you're going to believe, you know, things like this. But if you see through his bullshit and see him for what and who he really is, yeah, these questions are going to come into your mind. And, you know, checking his past, like he always get, likes to get into everybody else's past, hold him, hold his feet to the fire. All right. <laughs> hey, so with that, until the next video, hey, shalom.